Steven and uh, J Dub, J Dub, Lone Ridge Outfitters. We're uh, giving it a, giving it a go again tonight. We, uh, we're out this morning. Really quiet, but it's Labor Day weekend. There's a ton of people. Wish us luck and follow along on our journey. Back at it, uh, long night uh, coming in to hopefully recover this bull. Got Steven, Josh, called him off uh, baby watching duty. He just had a newborn, so yeah, yeah. thanks for coming out. And then we got Sherpa and Zach. Met Zach last night on the mountain. Uh, he did some Euro work for us last year and uh, just happened to like, hey, fancy seeing here, you here, but. They all keep wanting to come out and help, so uh, hopefully we'll get to uh, recover this bull and then, of course, Colton behind the camera. So we'll show you uh, as we go along, and thanks for watching. <laughs>
sitting here tracking J Dub's bull that he shot last night. It was a dang good shot. But there's hardly much blood. Found a bunch of blood at the beginning and then didn't find nothing. We all found out there's six of us here. And then I ended up finding some blood about 100 yards, 150 yards away from our last blood. And that's all we found. So we got a blood tracker on its way, blood tracking dog. So we're just sitting here hanging out until the dog gets here. Should be here within a half an hour or so, hopefully. But time for one of those midday mountain naps. Disappointing to see the shot and then uh, see all that blood at impact where the arrow come out. Thought it was going to be a 50 yard track. Never count your chickens before they hatch, I guess. He's disappointed. We're more disappointed because he made us hike all the way back down in here for nothing. <laughs> Just here to have some fun. Sure. What's going on, guys? So, as you saw, we. Uh, Shot a bull last night, J-Dub did, and we were all super pumped. It looked like a dang good shot, good blood on the arrow, good blood right by the arrow, so we went back in with a big group of us. Tracked the bull, we made it about 75 yards before we lost blood, and then found blood again about 100 yards away, and then nothing. And so we ended up having a bloodhound come up, um, a little confusion with where we were at, where they were supposed to meet us, so. We ended up just hiking and got into a meadow where one of our buddies had a trail camera and got the bull on trail camera. So shot was a little far back um, and a little high, so it hit basically the no man zone, uh, which is good because we didn't want a bull up there on the mountain that was dead and we weren't able to retrieve it. So we, uh, we tracked him for hours and hours and we've been at it for 12 hours already. Um, the good news is you got to keep hunting. Bull's yeah. alive and. It's the best. It's the best in scenario, I guess. Uh, knowing that he's still okay and moving around, we got video of him on one trail cam and then uh, pictures on a different trail cam. And uh, he's not showing any signs of being too hurt or anything. He'll be sore for a couple of days and then he'll jump right back in the herd and he'll start chasing those cows around. So, but that's hunting. It's not always a kill, but it was still an adventure. Still a lot of memories. It was still cool having him come in, calling him in, watching J-Dub shoot. That's what the hunt's about. It's not always about yeah. getting it over with. And